Okay, so this has been the day from hell as far as trying to go do a simple thing of going to trade one camper in for another one. Full-time RV life, always an adventure, even when you're helping a friend go trade their RV in for a new one. We have literally got 30 minutes into our trip for our two and a half hour ride to go trade this camper in, and we've already experienced our first blowout. Now, mind you, <laughs> he's trading this camper in. Now there's damage. This should be fun when we get where we're going. Just show, show you, there's never a dull moment in RV life and people on the highway, if you're watching this and you see somebody broke down, move over! However, one good thing about today is we definitely get to check out this new 6.6 .6 gas engine from Chevy. So far, so good on this monster that we're hauling. We'll get into further details about this. But uh, so far, so good. Granted, this thing's empty, got no toys in the back just yet. But so far, that 6.6 .6 is doing pretty good. There's some pretty hilly terrain here. But uh, we'll talk about all the crazy stuff here soon. Okay, conclusion of yesterday. We went to go pick up this new Momentum 350G. It was probably the worst experience that I've ever had with an RV dealership. And I know the gentleman who purchased this RV here had probably the, one of the most unpleasant RV dealership experiences on the planet. Now, always heard good things about General RV, but honestly, there's some of their business tactics are a little crazy and a little rude, to say the least. Uh, but anyhow, the whole thing, we were kind of, you know, screwed from the get-go when we left. We got about I don't know, 30 minutes into our trip yesterday, heading, what, about a three-hour ride up to go get this camper here. Blew a tire, tore up the camper. All right, didn't tear it up too bad. So we get up there, we're, we're looking to have a little bit of money knocked off on the trade just because of the damage from the tire. But this brace here proceeded to try to give almost $10,000 less than what was offered on the trade-in. Now, me personally, I would have told him to kiss my ass in the story but this gentleman here he really liked this rv and these were hard to find so he made a little bit different decision and of course he beat him up a little bit we had to argue around with him a bit and call basically what they are shysty little sobs and all those kind of things and all the village idiots in there all the big wigs in the office before we could finally get everything said and done here but uh we got back so late last night that this uh there was no point in even trying to put this camper away last night. So we had to stop filming because we ran into the dark, of course. But uh, the conclusion of what my thoughts are is if you're going to purchase an RV from a dealership and it's going to be a three-hour trip, maybe look through a lot of the reviews and see what kind of heartaches or hassles they've had from people coming for, you know, hours and hours away to trade in a rig on something that they said was promised to them for this amount. You know, a grand, there's always going to be a little bit of something that maybe the, you know, as your trade, some people embellish about what kind of condition or trades in. But this gentleman's RV was actually in pretty good shape. It was a 2015, so there wasn't really a whole lot wrong with it. And this is a, a good used camper market right now. He would have probably been a whole lot better selling it himself. But, you know, look to the reviews. Because, like I said, the, there was going to be a little bit of change change on the, the trade-in amount because of the little bit of damage from the tire. But that drastic, 
and then just the sheer rudeness of i don't even think we want your camper and to announce that very loud in front of a showroom full of people without pulling a gentleman to the side who's about to spend eighty thousand dollars to these idiots and kind of embarrass the man that way bad business practice there general rv and at that point i would have told you what you could have done you got lucky that that man went ahead and bought it because he didn't feel like the hassle of dragging his camper back just to go find another dealership. Now, me, out of principle, I would have done that. But, hey, he wanted the RV. He had his heart set on the RV. He did what he did. Always get your stuff in writing. And you know what? Maybe you should just practice this here. Have them deliver the RV and take your RV and trade. That way, it's a done deal. Till next time, guys, we'll see you down the road. Be careful buying your next RV and definitely look into the dealership you're going to buy it from. See you later.